gentlemen, Southpaw Promotions presents four hard-hitting rounds in professional boxing's heavyweight division. And it's all proudly brought to you by the United States Army National Guard. The third man in the ring, your referee at the sound of the bell, Mr. Malik Walid. And now for the formal introductions. Starting first, he comes to us out of the blue corner. He comes in the form of a three-time Georgia Games champion, a two-time Georgia Golden Gloves state champion. He weighed in at 200 pounds even and wears the jungle pattern trunks. Tonight, this fighter makes his historic professional boxing debut. Hailing from Marietta, Georgia, by way of Nigeria, here is A.K. Vice President Duru. And his undefeated opponent standing opposite fights out of the red corner. He scaled in at a sturdy and ready 201 pounds even. This evening, he wears the green trunks with a black trim. His undefeated professional record consists of four wins, zero defeats. Three of those victories came by way of thrilling and knockouts. Fighting and training out of California's Bay Area, here is Evan. We do Kubera. Okay, gentlemen, you both have been in one week. I'm expecting good, clean boxing. When I say break, stop punching, take a full step back. Remember, protect yourselves at all times. Touch them up. Good luck to you both. All right, Eddie. First fight of the night, brother. Yes, sir. Let's take it. Let's take it round for round. All right. I'm going to say right here off the bat, I know very little about IK. I know he's got a lot of local amateur experience. Nothing really on the regional or national level. Evans comes out of that Greenville, South Carolina group. A couple jabs pawing out there. Good heavy movement by IK. Right off the bat, you see the Southpaw versus Orthodox, the two stances. Both fighters right now are just filling each other out. Mm -hmm. Both fighters palm with the jab. Ladies and gentlemen at home, keep, keep track of the right foot of Evan Gabera. Make sure for him to be successful, he's got to keep that on the outside of IK's left. That's your classic Southpaw versus Orthodox stance matchup. What he's got to be aware of, that straight right hand. I haven't seen IK throw it yet. Still pawn with the job, checking the pawn with the jab, keeping his distance. Just ducked out of that right hand. Gabera being 4-0, you would see that he would have a little bit more experience right now at this point. But nice, at the same nice, nice right hand to the body by IK. Gabera came back with one. Ah, there's a little uppercut that looks like it clipped him a little bit. Nice Missed. jab. Stiff jab. I'd like to see Gabera keep his right hand up a little bit more. Now he's switched to an orthodox stance. Drew's got a nice little bobbing head motion there going on, ducking out of Gabera's punches there, that jab he's throwing. This is a good matchup. This is a good test for, you know, Gabera's got the four wins to his record, but he's been out of the ring for the better part of three-plus years. Looks like Gabera needs to keep his jab out there. He looks like he can keep Gabera off of him with that right jab coming. IK parries a couple of the jab attempts. Right uh, Overhand right misses. There's a one-two for him. 
I don't think those jabs are touching. I think Gubera staying just out of the reach of that. There we are. There's a that left hand was partially blocked, but the crowd got a little excited here. IK is standing right in front of Gabero. Yeah, he just took three body shots. I don't think they hurt him well, but they all landed and scored. And you got to remember, guys at home, you know, those, those shots all, all add up. And it's, this is a, a 10 point must system here in, in Georgia. And, you know, when you're counting landed blows, you know, a three punch combination, Eddie, that all lands. That can wear and tear you. That can wear you down round for round. That can, but that also sticks in the judge's mind. They see that one, two, three. Those are three quick points that landed. Three quick points. You, you know, it's, it's not amateur. Where it's not the points, but those land, and that can manipulate the brain of the judge. The judges are humans, and they see that. Those points being repeated by those three jabs, once the rounds get into the deeper fight, it's going to be very effective. I think IK is going to have to keep his hands up, keep moving to the side so he's not taking those blows. I'm curious to see how much, how long IK can keep the, the bobbing. You made the comment at the end of that round, towards the end of that round, that he was standing there in front of him. And, you know, he was pretty active with the lateral movement, the bobbing of the head, the up and down. And is he going to be able to sustain that for rounds two, three, and four? Well, keep in mind, Billy, IK is a, this is his debut. You're right. So this is fresh for him to get out here and show what he really can do. Absolutely. And round two has started. Couple of jabs to the body coming from Gabera. And there's a there's a nice jab coming from IK. That's a stiff jab that, that popped his head back there. That one missed. Both fighters still look good right now at this point. I'm surprised the referee doesn't make IK put that string in his trunks. That could be a hazard. Both fighters exchange jabs there. It's a very even matchup on the first night fight of the night. Yeah, they both still look pretty confident in their sale and their skill set. Yeah, ne neither one's injured the other one. They've each have landed a few shots. It looked like IK just kind of tomahawked there. A couple shots landed for Evan. I look to see Evan kind of turn it up a little bit here. There's a nice body shot there. Yeah. Oh, and a jab coming over from IK. He says, don't hit me with that. I'm coming back. <laughs> Oh, and a nice body shot. Another one. Oh, oh right. and a retaliate. That right hand caught him, but it didn't hurt him. Both fighters are still standing toe-to-toe -to -toe as they exchange blows. So I, I see Evan kind of setting up. He's waiting for that jab to the body and shooting that right hand. Now he switched it back to a southpaw, so that, that combination is not going to be there. Yeah, it looks like Evan's sitting there trying to fill him out. He's trying to fill IK out before he makes an explosion. It's going to take a little bit longer each fighter still fill each other out. That, that, and that one landed. That was a nice left jab. And there's a return. And another one. All right, but it, if I noticed on that one, that, that landed with the palm. It's it's a like a tomahawk, like he's just flicking it out there. That's why it wasn't effective as much. It yeah. wasn't close hand. Not a lot of power coming from those shots. But they look good as point shots. Gabera steady throwing jabs. Very nice body shot. When that body shot lands that Gubera throws, IK kind of turns a little bit. Dura. Well, because he's landing it right in the sternum area. Yeah. I believe it's taking a little bit of air out of him at a time. He's a big boy to try that shoulder roll. And he returns a yeah, jab. That was a nice counter coming off. Both fighters are still standing center ring. No one's leaning up against the ropes. Nice jab from IK. I think that one was a little low. Fighters just showed some good sportsmanship there. They sure did. They yeah. sure did. Good little matchup here, guys. Good little matchup. Plenty of action. We're halfway through the fight. This is uh, 
IK Duru, his debut, the local kid, fighting the guy from the West Coast. That was the end of round two. This is a four-round fight. Coach is giving Gabera some extra pointers here before they step out into the third round. Yeah, we're, I'm a little, I have a bad angle, so I can't read Teddy Cruz's lips. I'm really curious to what he's saying. Gabera just turned and looked at the camera and said something to the camera. It looks like his trainer's telling him to bob more, keep his combinations coming. Yeah. I think through two rounds, Gabera's landed more punches, yes. more, more solid, been more. Um, I agree. A, a, a tad bit more polished, but I don't want to use the word polished because neither fighter really looks that at this point. But here we go, round three, halfway through. Nice, entertaining first fight of the night. Both fighters are still trying to feel their way through this fight. Uh, that's a little little quick jab there, landed on the chin. Right hand hit him. Nice slip there by Gubera. None of these punches are coming with power, but they're still counting. There's a combo. There's a body shot. Good job, Gabera. Ike, Ike is a 200-pound guy trying to fight like 140 pounds with the shoulder roll and the, and, the, and the lean. Nice body shots coming from Gabera. Gabera's been pretty consistent landing those uh, one-two to the body there. Ike just threw a combo himself to the body. Yep. Oh, very nice. The bear keeping that jab out. He's throwing more combos in this third round. So do we start to see the experience of Gubera taking over in this third round? I believe we do. He's starting to look a lot more confident as he's throwing that jab as well as that body blow. It's starting to repeat itself. I don't want to see him get get too uh too wild. Too confident, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, stay stay composed. Listen to your corner. He's throwing great shots, but IK is still standing in there, so I don't think he's really being affected just yet. IK. IK has his hands up. Gabera still filling him out with that jab. There's one in a return from IK. Both fighters are still standing flat as they fill each other out. Each fighter See, protecting themselves very well at this point. So I, I, I think um, IK is kind of slowing down a little bit here. I there's, agree. Oh, he took that, one. That was a good one, too. That left hand, that left hook. He was affected by in. that. That left hook snuck in around the glove of IK by Gubera. Yeah, Gubera starts to see. He's seen that IK is taking these blows. Yeah. He's getting a lot more confident. That, that right hand got in there by, by I, IK. Yes, he's standing strong. But then comes that jab again right when the bell rings. Good job for both fighters. Yeah, that was a good round. Solid round by Evan Kubera. Landed a couple body shot combos, and then he had the big one-two with the overhand right that landed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to lay it up for you. We've got a debut fighter. He's in the ring with an undefeated fighter. I love Walter Waite. It's a great weight class for action boxing. One more round to go here. Once again, you guys are watching Evan Gabera and IK Duru. 200 pound weight class. Evan Gabera fighting out of the red corner. And there's the bound the bell for round four. 
This is the final round for this bout. Evan Gabera and I.K. Duru standing toe for toe. Nice jab by Gabera. I.K. is trying to stay low to the body. Gabera's jabbing high. Right, that right hand hook come around the left glove. Oh, and there's a left. Left hook landed right on the chin. The bear bounces around, keeping his distance. IK looking to hit his target. There's a nice little jab from the right and a body blow. There's another little jab coming from IK, but the bear still stands strong. Coming back. He's, these guys are trading. I love it. There's a nice combination. It's a little uppercut, little, little. Made a three, stumble on IK another there. One, two landed. Oh, there are the, a couple the, of combos. The uppercut missed, and again. but both hooks. Body shot. To the body. Guevara trying to finish this. IK needs to get out of that corner. It looks like he's sucking a little wind here. Yeah, he needs to he needs to clinch. His mouth is open. See, so right here, I think, Eddie, you see Gubera the professional. He still respects IK's power. He doesn't want to get in there and get clipped with something. That's, he's why he's, that's exactly why he's keeping his distance and using that jab. That he, jab is helping him. He's clearly winning this round, and he's not wanting to put himself in danger. That's good coaching by Teddy Cruz. IK is as tough as they come, though. Being a debut fighter taking this fight. Gabara using those combinations to get around IK. Oh, and he scores again. Nice body shot. Nice jab coming from both fighters. Gabara switches to that southpaw stance as he swings that left jab. Gabara's getting tired. Them arms are getting heavy. He's trying to stay on the outside. Not wanting to really plant. Nice combination there from Gabara. Ten seconds. Watch this, watch this flurry. Both fighters are going to let it go. And the final seconds of this round. Oh, big right hand to end it. Both fighters make the distance. An incredible opening fight. Southpaw Promotions back in Atlanta, Georgia. Opening fight of the night, guys. Went four rounds. Good show. That was a great Ladies fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after four hard-fought rounds, we do go down to the judges' scorecards. All three judges, Jack May, Carl Williams, and Pat Cronin, see it in exact fashion, scoring about 40-36. All for your winner by way of unanimous decision. And still... Undefeated, heaven, we don't go.